What's up, all you delightful DJs? I'm the Ginger Giant, and welcome to another installment of Safe and Stony, where we're just trying to have a good time and spread some good vibes. So if you like what we're doing here, y'all already know what to do down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. What we're going to talk about today is why I prefer cold start dabs. But before we get into anything, let's get a little hit in here. And yes, I know it's about cold starts, but I figured I'd warm up my lungs with a little nectar collector. And we got some Gorilla Glue live resin loaded up in here. So if y'all know what you're smoking on or smoking out of, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. It's always nice to see what y'all are smoking on all around the globe. Oh, come on now. There we are. There we are. Maybe a little too much butane. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> I cheers, y'all. Now the reason I do prefer cold starts, or at least one of them, is their ease of use. Right next to the nectar collector or dab straw, it's the second easiest way that I know of to dab other than using one of those e-rigs. Because when you do a cold start, you don't have to have a timer, you don't have to have one of those heat guns, you can just throw in your hash and go about your day, you know what I mean? <clears throat> well let's go ahead and take another dab out of Tatooine real quick. I think that's a respectable dab. I think so. Let's get a lighter just so we can make sure we light our shit real quick. Alright, and another thing that I like about cold starts is fuel efficiency, man. With a lot of hot start dabs, you're usually heating them up more than they need to, and then you're letting it cool off, right? Which, over time, makes you use more butane in general, where with a cold start, you just heat it up till it starts vaping, and then you go right in for it. In other words, you can dab on your time, you know what I mean, man? Ooh -wee. You got dab sweat starting over here. Ooh. And then, <coughs> lastly, you're not going to be chazzing up your piece like a lot of other bangers that I've had to throw away. When you're doing hot start dabs more often than not, you're just doing it willy-nilly. You're trying to just feeling for it unless you do have a heat gun or a turf timer or one of those other, like, stoner accessories, if you will. But with this, you don't really have to risk it chazzing or getting too dirty because you're not really reaching those types of temperatures unless you're doing, like, reheats or if you're trying to burn it off, you know what I mean? But cheers, y'all. But overall, just due to the ease of use and the practicality of it, really, I just prefer cold start dabs. I waste less oil, I get better flavor in all honesty, and I'm not wasting any by chazzing it to the piece by taking too hot of a dab. Like, overall, there's not too many cons to the cold start except for having to... having to clean it, and at that point, just taking another dab. Like, what the fuck? What's the dealio, man? But I guess that's all we had today. So I hope y'all enjoyed. And until next time, y'all stay safe and stay stony. Peace.